Rachel Cobb, everybody. Rachel. In case you don't get any of my jokes, just remember that I'm a proud graduate of non sequitur University. <laughs> I was born on a farm in Kansas. Oh, I know it doesn't show. <laughs> you know when a cow died on the farm, we would call the disposal oh, people. They turned it yeah. into dog food. Now they turn it into biodiesel fuel. Now there's your horsepower. <laughs> Now my sister Dorothy used to tell us stories about witches oh, and little people. I thought she was talking about the Bush administration. <laughs> Not that I would want to be president. I could be president. There's nobody who would vote for me. But I do know what I want to be when I grow up. Retired. <laughs> you think wicked old witches should have their own retirement home? Preferably one that won't fall on them. <laughs> I'll never be able to retire. Too many payments left on that damn giraffe. Well, don't ask. I got a deal from Michael Jackson. Oh. I worked at a lot of jobs over the years. I was a comic back in the 80s. Well, they called it computer programming. <laughs> Stupid Bill Gates. I should have been an inventor. That's right. Last year, I wanted bigger boobs one I married in 86. <laughs> and I bought myself one of them vacuum rods. I thought we was going to suck those puppies right out, but it didn't really work. However, for a while there, my chest was so clean you could eat off of it. I mean, <laughs> oh, that's what you do with it. Never mind. You see, in my case, they're like recreational vehicles that never get out of the garage. I mean, Terrible mileage, maybe one day to decade, and oh, the flaps are so expensive to fix. <laughs> you know, the thing is, I have been so anxious. I'm losing my looks. I, I used to be glamorous. I had hair down to there until I had to shave my back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've been taking something for depression. Chocolate and Twinkies. <laughs> I'm getting better. I fired my last two therapists. In the old days, I would have just stopped them. <laughs> I've been so anxious. Paranoid. Last week, I was traumatized by a daylight robbery. They almost caught me. <laughs> Mexico is said to be the third most dangerous state. Why can't we be first in anything? <laughs> you gotta learn to defend yourself, and that's why I'm learning karate, which is Japanese for button. Oh, I forgot before to talk. <laughs> Remember, never have a weapon that you can't defend against, which is why I'll never be married. No. <laughs> This is for you, Jamie. Uh, the thing is, with all the violence in the world, why isn't there a 12-step program for suicide bombers? Believe me, I looked. <laughs> this is for you, Jamie. I think that the Homeland Security folks are really cracking down. They're combating the scourge of elementary school. <laughs> There was a girl in Ohio that got suspended for rubbing poison ivy all over her teacher's chair. But what's next? Bank robbery? Everybody freeze! I got athlete's foot and I'm not afraid to use it! <laughs> I just don't understand my neighbors. Maybe I should learn Russian. <laughs> well, I know a little Russian. He's about so tall. <laughs> The thing is, language is so, so perplexing. Why is it that people in New Mexico, at least some of them, always say no when they mean yes? You ran a red light, no? You hit my car, no? You are an idiot, no? People, people, what part of no don't you understand? No means no, no? In closing, I'd just like to say that 
If I've offended someone here tonight, I am truly, truly sorry. I try to offend everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, give it up for Stephen Hunt. Thank you for Rachel, everybody.